So, how about week eight, college football? I know it's a Sunday night, and I know some things have happened uh, in the NFL circles today. But first, 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 we got to talk about, you know, the Big Ten and the Mountain West came back. Um, Ohio State, Justin Fields and company, you know, Nebraska kept it close for a little bit. But, I mean, you know, I, I didn't realize that Ohio State, you know, they had Trey Sermon in the backfield, too. Remember, I did say Ohio State had a gaggle of backs at the backfield. But Justin Fields was just too much for Nebraska. Easily, you know, Ohio State did what they needed to do. Notre Dame, they beat up on Pitt. You know, Syracuse gave Clemson a game for a little bit. You know, Travis Etienne, he was hurt for a little bit. Trevor Lawrence threw a pick six, but it didn't even matter. You know Clemson was going to smoke another ACC team, and that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. What about Alabama? Another top five team. It doesn't even matter. I mean, Alabama smoked Tennessee. Just smoked them. It wasn't even close. So what about real games? You know, forget about the top four. What about the real games today? Well, the only unbeaten in the Big 12 is still Oklahoma State. They had to fight. And I'm telling Spencer Sanders did a great job in that game against Iowa State. I mean, Iowa State was just coming at them, keeping it close, keeping it interesting. And, I mean, it was just a fun game from start to end. My, my Texas Longhorns beat the Baylor Bears. And, I mean, again, it, it really wasn't that close. It got you know, some garbage time points towards the end of that game there. Um, Oklahoma's back in the rankings now, but they easily beat TCU, but who cares about that? Um, At Kansas State, two punt returns back for touchdowns, beat up on Kansas. And the the Big 12 race is very interesting because Texas Tech also beat West Virginia. Very interesting. What about Michael Penix? And the Indiana Hoosiers, they took Penn State all the way to overtime. You know, we, you know, that ball may have looked like it didn't cross the goal line, but the refs said, yes, it did. And thus, Sean Clifford, Penn State, hey, y'all gotta, gotta get it together. Ohio State is coming next Saturday night. What about Rutgers? Rutgers forced seven turnovers. Beat Michigan State up for seven turnovers in that game. And, I mean, I'm just sitting here like, what? Rutgers being good at football? What? That's impossible. That's impossible. Speaking of things that are good, well, actually, not good at all. It wasn't even close. How about that quadruple doink from Rice? Rice finally played their first game of the season quadruple doink against Middle Tennessee State, and Middle Tennessee State, you know, won that game, you know, so, I mean, come on, you can't quadruple doink a kick, you can't do that at all, (laughs) you want North Carolina, you know, they bounced back after that Florida State loss, and Florida State, by the way, got manhandled by Louisville, I don't don't know what in the world's going on, the ACC, it's looking, you know, outside of Clemson and Notre Dame, and Maybe North Carolina it's looking chaotic as usual out there in ACC country. But they easily took care of North Carolina State. I mean, there was two bad throws by Finley in that game that ricocheted and, you know, bounced off the receiver's hands, went straight into North Carolina's hands, and, I mean, they just took care of business. That's all they need to do because North Carolina has a big game. Later down the line, Notre Dame, maybe we can completely erase Notre Dame from the college football playoff talk by then because, you know, Clemson's looming for Notre Dame. Clemson is looming. So what about some of these lower, you know, what about some of these group of five teams? I don't really like to say group of five, you know, and stuff like that. First off, Mountain West after dark was amazing. Um... Well, actually, it was only one game that was real interesting, and that was Air Force San Jose State. Very interesting game. I love the flex mode. And, I mean, did you know, did you know that somebody 
transferred all the way out. San Jose State. Mr. Starkle. Starkle, I think. Yeah. He, he transferred all the way out to San Jose State. Crazy, right? He was a, he was in Arkansas. You know, in Texas A&M. And then, boom. What can I say? He, he, he didn't have to do much. I mean, Air Force couldn't really do anything on the ground in that game. And meanwhile, on the other Mountain West after dark game, UNLV had 25 yards by the end of the first half and got blown out by San Diego State. Just absolutely disgusting. What a disgusting display of performance. Speaking of the Mountain West, they already have a game canceled. New Mexico. Hey, New Mexico, you can't travel nowhere. So that game against Colorado State, gone. Off the schedule. What about New Mexico State? Oh, yeah, New Mexico State decided to schedule a game in 2021 in the spring. Crazy, right? I don't know how that's going to go, but, yeah, that's that's interesting, let me tell you. Um, I want to talk back about the Big Ten real quick because um, Joe Milton debuted. Joe Milton debuted for Michigan against Minnesota, and I thought, you know, for a little bit because, I mean, they were trading blows back and forth. You know, big play after big play for a little bit. And I don't know what in the world got into Michigan's defense. They just smothered Minnesota. Joe Milton, he didn't he didn't have to do much. He did he did account for three touchdowns, but honestly, I mean Minnesota just did not look the greatest and and I, I and I was on and off that game for majority of the night for the real big game that I wanted to talk about on that night, um, which was Cincinnati. SMU, Shane Bouchel, former Texas quarterback, taking on Desmond Ritter, Cincinnati, at that vaunted defense that they have it. That defense of Cincinnati is a fearsome one, let me tell you. Only holding the Mustangs to 13 points. Desmond Ritter ran for over 170 yards and three touchdowns on his own. Absolutely dominant performance. And, I mean, SMU... I mean, they got to be a little bit dejected after that. They're still in that race for potentially a college football playoff spot, along with Cincinnati, of course. They're also in the mix. It's 2020. This year is weird. Um, so there's going to be something different this year. This is the year, the weirdest season since 2007. Let's just let's just say that right now off the bat. Um, but yeah, I, want, I wanted to talk about some of these lower-ranked group of five teams that are, you know, they're just sitting there. Grant Wells and Marshall still tearing it up out there in Conference USA. They're still undefeated. Crazy, right? You know, Coastal Carolina, I didn't talk about them last week, but I saw a little bit of that game. You know, it was after North Carolina, you know, it was North Carolina State was getting pretty bad, pretty ugly. And then Coastal Carolina had a you know, enough because it was 14-14 against Georgia Southern before the fourth quarter. And then all of a sudden, two big touchdowns by Coastal late in that game to put them over Georgia Southern. Sunbelt looking pretty good right now. You know, yeah, I mean, you got to feel better. You're not the basement dweller conference anymore. That title belongs to Conference USA. <laughs> That title belongs to that conference. I've said that for at least two years now, and I will continue to say it despite the fact that Marshall is indeed ranked. That's despite that, you know. Um, Wisconsin still ranked, you know, they, they beat up on Illinois, but I mean, come on, it's Illinois. Who cares? Speaking of Wisconsin, their, their new quarterback, I forgot his name already. Because I didn't even pay one bit of attention to this game. But their quarterback tested positive for COVID. So I don't know how that's going to work out. You know. At all. I mean. And, and, and then we got to talk about, you know, Miami. You know. Just to round, just to round a couple things out. Miami had the struggle against West, um, Virginia. Not West Virginia. Virginia. They struggled a little bit against Virginia. Um, but they still got the W. BYU. You know, unfortunately, again, like I said, they haven't been able to play anybody this year. Please do not blame the scheme. Please do not blame the schedules and whatnot. It, they can't. They just can't play anybody. I mean, Texas State is the best they could offer. You know, and BYU Zach Wilson has been playing lights out. 
this season. And, I mean, come on. Just a great performance. Boise State, you know, on that blue field, they're back in the top 25. They're back. They're back in there. Speaking of teams that are out, Virginia Tech lost. Um, so there's that, you know. But, yeah, what did we learn? What did we learn this week? I think the Big 12 race is still wide open. You know, Oklahoma State, Kansas State at the top, Iowa State, has only one loss in conference play and then a bunch of others are just lurking you know with either two or three losses and I think those top three there's a big game with Oklahoma State Kansas State in a couple weeks um, that'll probably air alongside that Clemson Notre Dame game which is at night and it's going to be one hell of a game I can tell you that right now Big Ten welcome back to college football Penn State and it's not did not look like the team I thought they were going to be. You know, they struggled against Indiana. And um, Michigan and Ohio State looking like they're going to have another epic clash, you know, right for right now at least. They're looking like they're going to have another epic clash right now in December. And, I mean, very surprising results, you know, like Rutgers getting a big victory against Michigan State. We'll have to talk about Michigan State, you know, on Monday because that's a big game for them against Michigan. Um, welcome back, Mountain West, as well. Um, despite the fact there was indeed a game that gets canceled and is not going to get made up. Welcome back, Mountain West. Welcome to the top 25, Boise State, because you also have a big game against BYU in a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, Big 12 race wide open. Big 10 still there. They're back. They're doing what they need to do, you know, with this eight-game schedule plus, you know, the championship and stuff like that. And, you know, Mountain West's come back. And the top three or four teams are still dominant. Just, I mean, come on. And Georgia, too. I mean, I know some people kind of – you know, flip-flop between Georgia and Notre Dame as the number four team, which is honestly stupid because Georgia lost bad to Alabama. It it really was close for only a little bit with Georgia and Alabama. That game got out of hand quick, so I don't know what people are talking about. Georgia's not the number four team in the country. But who do I think, who do I think is the number four? You know, the, the top four teams in the country. Well, right now, I'm going to say Alabama is number one. Just because, you know, just because Dabo doesn't like being number one, he always complains about it. Number two is Clemson. I don't think, you know, Clemson's schedule gets a lot more interesting later on. Well, just one game already, at least, is way more interesting down the line. And, of course, they play in Miami already. And, you know, number three, Ohio State. They've only played one game, and they look like a good team. I mean, hey, what can you say? Number four is Notre Dame. Until they can be beaten, you know, Notre Dame is right there. Number five for me is Oklahoma State. They look like a good team. You know, I'd say, you know, you could flip-flop Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, but I'm going to say – you know, until somebody can do something about Notre Dame's defense, you know, because they've been absolutely pretty good. They've been pretty damn good. Let's say Oklahoma State's going to be number five and Georgia will be number six. So there's that. So week eight, it's over. We talked about it. Um, again, you know, videos like this are going to be a little bit later in the week and stuff, you know, because things have changed around here, you know with Mountain West coming back and eventually the Pac-12 will be coming back. So, that being said, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. You know, we got NFL coming, college basketball, despite the fact that there's turmoil there coming. You know, more college football stuff. Maybe something about the NBA soon. Maybe something more about indoor football soon. I know I said that there was something more about indoor football soon. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And, yeah, things are looking pretty, pretty high right now. 2020 has been weird. So, like, share, comment, subscribe. 
and click that little notification bell. Come on down to this channel and discuss with me. Or you can go to the discussion tab in the you know my in, you know my channel. You know when you click on my channel and stuff like that. You know you go to the channel, you see all the videos, playlists, and stuff like that. There's the discussion tab there. I will have some updates there. So yeah. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you Monday or Tuesday.